Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Buzz Discoveries with Boomplay and today my guest is the lovely Mumbua. Hope I got that right, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Karibu. Thanks so much. How have you been? Great, great. It's refreshing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I think it's by now, so mm. I think it's Okay, mm-hmm. nice. So, uh, new music out, Uta Niweza. Yeah. Tell us more about it. Nani Nakweza, Nani Nakweza. Hey, your song ni, ni poa sana. It's, a, it's actually a song about, uh, I'm trying to speak on behalf of other people who mm. cannot speak. Mm. Uh, kwambia tu mse e eh, niaje utaniweza you know like uh, utani niache ule kitambo mwenye nilikuwa na hesabu na try kufanya mambo so I'm trying to ask utaniweza utaniweza tutaweza 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 na eh tutaweza so how how has it been like for you you know musically because uh, you're still young trying to develop your craft and all that yeah um yeah, I started uh, getting serious into music in 2020. That's when I did my last first, year. Last yeah, year, last when, year. When Corona kicked in. Yeah, I just started and then Corona started. Mm. So, and then I was like, okay, what am I going to do with myself? But since I said uh, once I start, there's no stopping. So mm. that's why I'm still here, still doing it. And yeah, I'm trying to figure out also myself and ways that can work for me. I'm still on that journey. Mm. I hear music is a journey, so I'm still on that journey. Okay, and uh, so kind of less than a year in, in the game right now, mm-hmm. or probably slightly a over. Slightly a year. Yeah, slightly yeah. over a year. And uh, you have uh, four songs mm-hmm. under your belt right now. Yeah. So how do you fund your music? How do you make music and all that? Uh, well, I just, uh, I love music, first of all. Mm. I before I started recording my own songs, I was a background vocalist for uh, songs for artists. So basically, I've just been around studio and making music for me hasn't been hard because you might just be in that session where you're, you're doing BGVs for someone and then you can jump in and do a track. I have a friend of mine who just comes in with the visuals and we end up doing something, something productive. But still, I do BGVs and also I'm a fitness uh, consultant. Yeah, great. I see you working yeah. out a lot on your on your gram. Huh? Mm-hmm. Everything you see, <laughs> everything you're seeing right yeah, now. Yeah, I love um, I love the gym. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'll join the gym too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nini, um, word on the street is that uh, before starting to do the kind of music you're doing right now, let me say secular music, you are a gospel artist. How true is this? Okay. <coughs> what's on the streets <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's on the street okay i think um when i started doing music i wasn't sure that i, I wasn't sure what i was doing so i was just uh, you know enjoying myself like i said so i just um the first song that i ever did it just happened to be that that was a gospel song mm. it was just about the first song i ever did was mm. a gospel song mm. so after that i took a break of just I wanted to just discover and what makes me happy and the kind of music I want to do. And it took me like a whole five years break and also this, uh, doing other things uh, that are not music related. And then here I am and then started doing Caribbean and the rest. But still, um, I'm about to, to get some gospel tracks in my, my album or CD that I'll be, I'll be working on. Okay, so uh, at what point uh, did you realize that, yo, I don't want to continue with this gospel thing, I want to switch it up a little bit and uh, and go to secular? <coughs> I think first I did I did a song mm. that was, uh, my first song was a gospel and I did another one mm. and I was really, I was really happy about it and mm. but I wasn't uh, sure about exactly what kind of music. I want to do. All right, That's all right. the word. I wasn't really sure. Okay. So I didn't even take it seriously, first of all. I just did it for just loving to sing. And then now after that, I wasn't comfortable doing music. And then I just took a long break. Mm. And then now I'm back. Great. So looking at um, whatever you've done so far, 
you know, ever since you made your comeback last year. Are you proud of everything you've achieved? And uh, what do you plan to do, you know, to remain uh, relevant and grounded to your art? <coughs> well, uh, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself, to be honest, I am. Yeah. First of all, uh, getting here is also, it's been a lot of work. Uh, for those who know me, they know um, I'm still uh, working on myself. I'm still working alone, like I am not signed to any label. I am yeah. not, uh, I'm, I don't have a big team. My team is very small. So I'm still building myself and I'm proud of the steps and I'm sure that as time goes, we do the proper. Speaking of labels, uh, would you want to be signed into any at the moment? Um, it depends. Depends on the deal they are offering. Because oh, honestly, also working alone is not easy. You can imagine uh, being in studio and still having to distribute, still having to do so much, so much more. So uh, we can agree on something if, if it's possible to get one. But in the meantime, I'm still, I'm just working as I figure out my, myself as I get there. Great. Yeah. So what would you consider as the major challenges you faced, you know, as a young artist in Kenya? And uh, do you feel the Kenyan uh, creative space is conducive for guys like you to grow? Yeah, first of all, uh, music is, is great in Kenya and I'm happy that uh, people are now listening to Kenyan music. You know, there was a time working a club, you just listen to Niger. From the beginning, from that time you're in the club until morning when mm. you're leaving. Mm. So at least nowadays there's a lot of Kenyan music being played. So uh, that means there's a lot of space for everyone who wants to come in and thrive in your sector. And mm. if you want to just, if you're out there and you still want to sing, there's still a lot of space. Yeah. For you to do it so for me at first i was scared uh that that's why it took like a whole five years to decide if i really wanted it so i was really scared but uh with time with gym and with uh working with people and going to studio often and singing i i decided now this is what i'm going to do so definitely there's challenges there's um challenges come uh, maybe uh, trying to come up as a new artist in yeah. itself is a challenge because yeah. you're trying to build networks you're trying to get your music out there you're trying to get people to love you because that's how they will love your music and that's how they'll appreciate your music so all this is 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 a challenge but you see one step at a time so yeah. you have to accept it and be down there as you wait to to grow because there's no there's no shortcut you know and if you're hard working, for me, I believe in hard work and consistency. I've seen it in the gym. If you're consistent, you will see results. So the consistency is what uh, matters. But also to produce music, it's very expensive to a video, to an audio. It's a big challenge in itself. But to uh, survive, I'll only be doing it at my own time. Uh, if I'm ready to do a music video right now, I'll do it. Mm. If I'm not ready, I will wait. Mm. When I'm ready, I will. So no pressure, just slowly. Your point, your gym, you mm -hmm. consistency. For yeah, you, consistency. For you, to see, for you to see results, and yeah. we, we can definitely see results. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I've been on a long break. But yeah, those who know me from Kitambo, they know, uh, they know the transformation. I was mm. very... I wasn't really looking good, so it's been a jolly. You're yeah. like Adrian. What? Okay. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so what would you consider as uh, your your biggest source of uh, strength, your biggest source of inspiration, as you try to maneuver through these waters of the Kenyan music industry? Uh, my source of inspiration, of course, God. God is there and he's there for us. That's number one person I talk to about my my art and my music. Mm. Mm, the second person is my daughter. I have a daughter who is uh, nine years. Okay, people don't know that. But <laughs> yeah, that is another person. I don't want to get into details with that. Um, that's another person who is very uh, 
inspirational to my life. Yeah. And of course, now the third thing is the gym. I train like five times a week. Those nice. who know me, yeah, nice. I try nice. as much as possible. Okay, there are those moments of, you know, taking like four months break, but whenever I can, I make sure I go to the gym great, five times great, a week. Great. So with the, your music thing, your art and all that, at the end of it all, you know, because definitely at long last, lazima has a deep on all. So after easy bit resort, what is that one thing you want guys to remember you with? <laughs> after my retire, I'll ask you what? It's Dave Kirebo. It's But uh, for me, I just want to do so much for for the industry, especially with the female ones. Uh, my dream, uh, I think what you're asking is my dream. Like retire, this is what I want to probably have. Mm. First of all, my goals are are built into fitness and music. That is where my life is. Uh, those people who know me, they know my life me either kwa gym or music. No, not, nothing much. So, uh, the gym for me is a hospital. So, for me, I would love to build a hospital for people to come in and, you know, uh, heal themselves because I healed myself in the gym. So, I want to create a place where people can can bring all their mental issues like I did mm. and work out and be comfortable. So for me, I see myself having a very big, you know, great gym. And another thing I want to have a studio that also will accommodate everyone who wants to come in and sing, especially the ladies. So hopefully someday in my life, I will have uh, like five other mumboas or two other mumboas which I, or someone else who comes in and I'll be able to help and bring out what they have. So that is what I want to see when I'm retired. Amen to that. Amen. Yeah, which Kenyan musicians inspire you a lot? And uh, <laughs> I really like to work with. I see you are a very big fan of Billy the Storyteller. Mr. <laughs> How do you know that? Because <laughs> I, I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah, I love his uh, current album. I love a song called Baridi mm. in that album. So Nviri is quite a, a good songwriter. And he's also a friend of mine. Mm. Um, yeah, so that person inspires me definitely. Uh, oh, Sanaipe has a good voice. Mm. Uh, I love Nadia's work. She really goes all out and she's, she's working hard. She's not sleeping. Mm. And other people i love also otile brown those are people who have just uh, built themselves and gotten to where they are so yeah and most of all also saudi soul is doing a great job mm. like you saw they were part of the banners yeah, grammy, award. grammy award writing stuff i mean yeah people are doing great stuff like those ones and i really appreciate them great and uh, the new artists like you are there any new artists that uh, you feel are really putting in the work out there? Uh, Kenyan new artists? Yeah, Kenya. yeah there's, uh, there's a chick I follow from Mombasa. I think her name is Akila. Yeah, Akila, Akila is dope. Yeah, I love, I love her music. She's really doing great stuff. Mm. And who else is new? You know, not so many new artists mm. though, but I don't know young ones. I just, I know myself, I know, oh, but the women, I know the women. There's another chick called Mel. Yeah, Mel Barrow. Yeah, she's really a good artist. She's yeah. doing great. Yeah. I love her music. And who else? Yeah, Adasa. Oh, uh, I'm Adasa. forgetting Adasa. Mm. Adasa is also doing very good music. I love her songs. So some people, I just put their music in the house and I listen as I wash my stuff and do stuff in the house. Yeah. Okay, speaking of doing stuff in the house, uh, uh, <coughs> which is your favorite meal to prepare? <laughs> favorite meal? Mm. Uh, I love rice, uh, chicken, and vegetables. That's like any time, any day. Because also it's healthy and mm. I love chicken. Great, great. Mm. So guys, there you have it. The Mumbua. She has a new release out now on Boomplay. Check it out and stream all her music on the app. Until next time, this was Bad Discovery. Do the man himself. Pull a lamata.